Although noni has been used for thousands of years in French Polynesia, only in the last decade has it been available to consumers everywhere. No one is more familiar with or has studied the noni fruit more extensively than our guest, Dr. Neil Solomon. Dr. Solomon is a Johns Hopkins trained physician and former faculty member at Johns Hopkins and other leading universities. He is also a New York Times best-selling author. He was Maryland's first Secretary of Health and Mental Hygiene, has served as chair of four gubernatorial commissions, and has acted as health advisor to presidents and governors. For 18 years, he wrote a globally syndicated health advice column for the Los Angeles Times Syndicate. Currently, Dr. Solomon works as a global nutritional consultant, serving corporations and non-government organizations of the United Nations, such as the International Council of Caring Communities and the Communications Coordination Committee of the United Nations. Dr. Solomon has been studying Noni for nearly a decade, and his books on Noni have sold over a million copies in the U.S. alone. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Neil Solomon. Thank you very, very much. It is a pleasure to be here. You are a beautiful group. You are truly a beautiful group. And together, we're going to learn about information that's going to make a lot of people beautiful, healthy and beautiful. I'm going to start this lecture with 21 reasons why you should drink noni every day. It could be 221 reasons, but I had to pick 21 that I thought at this time might make some sense because they're the reasons that people tell me that they drink noni. Well, in the 21 reasons to drink noni every day, they're to try to prevent, or if you have the following diseases help decrease your symptoms. Cancer, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, the four biggies of what the people who talked to me said and the, the data I had. And one thing I found was consistent. Stress was the culprit. Stress knocked down all the conditions that help protect those people. Some people got back up, bounced back up, and did okay. Others didn't. But it seemed that the Hesian noni juice in some way helped the majority of the people. What is noni? Well, you all know what noni is. You can see it there on the screen, up on the left-hand corner. As you know, it's really an ugly smelling fruit. It tastes worse. I would never drink it. I would never drink noni juice the way it comes out of the noni plant. I couldn't tolerate it. But that's what noni was. But the reason they tolerated it to people, it helped them. So the people primarily of Southeast Asia and the Pacific Coast area and the Pacific Rim area they felt that noni helped them, and so they passed it on from generation to generation. And it was because of that, that that terrible taste didn't prevent them from taking it, because they stayed pretty healthy. Tracing it back from Polynesia, where these people were located, you can find that it had its origin in old India back 6,000 years ago. 
And there, it was known because it increased longevity. But it not only increased longevity, it not only made people live, did they believe longer, but they lived healthier longer, and that's the name of the game. The name of the game is to live healthier. Because if you just live longer and aren't healthy, that's no good. And if you go to the Sanskrit writings, you'll find in those writings, the quotes, marvelous, healthful properties. Noni, it has marvelous, healthful properties. Noni juice may help prevent and protect against cancer. There has been research done on noni. And the research shows that it may prevent and it may protect against cancer. Then Dr. Myung Ying Wong from the University of Illinois Medical School started to study noni. I said, what are you doing now? She said, I'm doing research. I do cancer research at the university. I said, how do you do your research? She said, well, what I do is I have animals and I give them cancer and then I give them different drugs to see which ones will decrease the cancer and which ones will allow the animals to live longer. I said, I got a great idea. Throw some noni in. Just throw some noni in. Oh, she said, I can't do that. I said, why not? Do you use controls? She said, sure. I said, use as a control. Use as a control. Another form of a placebo. See what happens. She did it. And you know what she found? It helped as much as the drugs. I could go through all the work that was done on animals, but this probably summarizes better than any. Dr. Harazumi Kim, she had 15 mice. She gave them all that cancer I told you about. She didn't give any of them noni. At the end of 16 days, every one of them died. 100% of them died. She had another group at the same time. And what she did to that group is she added noni. And every one of them lived. Every one of them lived. That's in the literature. I gave you the reference there in Pharmacology, December 1997. She also presented this. This was presented at the American Association of Cancer Research. This is for real stuff. Do I say that noni cures cancer? No. Noni does not cure cancer. But I believe noni helps in people who have cancer. And I believe that the side effects are minimal to none. So what do you have to lose by taking it? Noni juice may help with arthritis. There's no doubt in my mind that it certainly can decrease the symptoms of arthritis. Now, before noni came along, people were using mainly aspirin and ibuprofen. But the problem with aspirin and ibuprofen is they can chew up your gastrointestinal tract. They can give you ulcers. Now, recent data shows that they can raise your blood pressure and give you hypertension. 50% of all people who take aspirin or ibuprofen in some way or another have GI symptoms. Of those who take noni, and 1,675 took it, 78% said it helped their arthritic symptoms. And it helped their arthritic symptoms without the GI problems, without causing them to have ulcers. Noni juice may help decrease heart symptoms. Now, what causes heart problems? There are lots of different things that cause heart problems, but we're going to talk about three things that nobody argues about. One, you can get a clot. The clot can block your coronary artery. If it blocks your coronary artery, nothing can get through. Blood can't get through, it has oxygen and nutrients, and so it's beyond the coronary artery. The other side of it, where there's no blood, that tissue dies. 
When that tissue dies, that's called a myocardial infarction. And that just means, infarction means death. Myocardium is the muscle of the heart, and that's what you have. That then labels you as having coronary heart disease, which is CHD. So when you see CHD, that's coronary heart disease. Most of it was due to the clot, secondary myocardial infarction, and then coronary heart disease. Next, blood pressure. Noni can help bring down your blood pressure. Now, increased blood pressure is for real. It's the silent killer. It's silent, but it kills you. People who have hypertension, which is high blood pressure, have a seven times greater chance of getting a stroke than those who don't. Big figures. We talked about myocardial infarctions. If you have high blood pressure, you have four times a chance of getting a myocardial infarction than if you don't have high blood pressure. And remember I told you those people that have myocardial infarctions, they then have coronary artery disease and they have heart disease. And when the heart disease gets bad enough, they go into what's called congestive heart failure. And what congestive heart failure means is the heart can't pump adequately. So it can't pump to bring everything you need, your blood and your nutrients and your oxygen to all your tissues. And when that happens and it gets bad enough, you die. People who have high blood pressure, they have a five times greater chance of dying from congestive heart failure. How might Noni decrease blood pressure? Well, it could act in part as a dilator. It could dilate the blood vessels and make them larger. Is there any reason to believe it does that? There are some substances in Noni. Noni has 150 different nutraceuticals. Nutraceuticals are chemical substances in there, and each of them can help you. And one of them is scopoletin. And scopoletin has a lots of different properties, but one of them is that it dilates blood vessels. Another thing Noni can do is it can cause the cells that produce nitric oxide to make more nitric oxide, and that can open up your blood vessels. Dr. Mona Harrison, the late Dr. Mona Harrison, felt that Noni worked through its re in part through its relationship to hormones. She believed that indirectly, Noni would allow hormones to be produced in more optimal amounts, and that that could help us. And that's where I got the idea and came up with the term for noni, it acts as an adaptogen, which means that it helps, let's say, the hormones. If you need more of something, it brings it up. If you need less of something, it brings it down. Because people would say to me all the time, hey, Dr. Solomon, come on. How can I take it if I have high blood pressure and it helps me? And how can I take it if I have low blood pressure and it helps me? Come on. Or if I have too much sugar, it helps me. If I have too little sugar, it helps me. Come on. It acts as an adaptogen. And there are known adaptogens. And I got very interested in that. Noni juice may help increase and support the immune system. I looked at the people I surveyed, and I said, were you helped by decreasing the symptoms from immune system problems? And of 3,700, 77% said, yes, Noni helped decrease the symptoms that were caused by a decreased immune system. Let me tell you something. Noni is one of the things I can say to you 
helps the immune system and can say to you, there's science behind it. Noni juice may help increase energy. There's a condition called fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia means you have aches and pains all over your body. That's really it. Fibromyalgia syndrome is that you have the pain I told you about, you have stiffness, you have headaches, you can't get up in the morning, you feel miserable. You just feel miserable. And of the people who have had fibromyalgia, the lack of energy is one of the big problems. They don't have enough energy. And if you don't have enough energy, you don't feel well. And of the people in my survey, 3,500 people, 77% said that they had increased energy. And those who took Noni also did better with other things beside energy. It helped them sleep, which is one of the problems. It helped their headaches, which is one of the problems. So it all started adding up together. There's good reason. Energy is another thing. I told you that there is absolute science behind the immune system, behind Noni helping the immune system. I can tell you that there's absolute science behind Noni helping give you more energy. And not only does it help sick people with more energy, it helps athletes. It increases their endurance. It increases their strength. And as I say, the energy part is for real. The next thing is, Noni may help fortify cell structure. Remember I told you about how Noni can act as an adaptogen, can make things better if they need to go up, can make things go down. The end result is it's better. The scientific name for that is homeostasis. It brings the body into balance. That's what it does. It's called homeostasis. It either brings it up or it brings it down. I believe that Noni could act like a DNA repair enzyme. Can Noni help people with diabetic symptoms? The answer is yes. I believe it can help people with diabetic symptoms. Remember we talked about nitric oxide before and how it dilates blood vessels? Another thing that dilates blood vessels is scopoleptin. Scopoleptin dilates blood vessels too. That helps increase the circulation and people with diabetes often have trouble with their eyes. And one of the reasons is that they don't have enough oxygen and nutrients going to the retina of their eye. And again, scopoleptin and nitric oxide can help that and noni indirectly can help that and so the body can help heal itself. Of people with diabetes, 5,570 people in the survey, 82% said Noni helped them. Noni juice may help decrease asthmatic symptoms. 17 million Americans have asthma. It's this labored breathing I told you about. It's a chronic disease. Once you get it, you got it. But you can help with the symptoms. And what you want to do is help the air get out. Again, Mona Harrison said to me, you know, Neil, I believe from the people I saw that Noni increases the air that goes through the bronchioles that go into the lungs. Those are the tubes that go into the lungs and they get tightened when you have asthma. So I believe that that is true. Noni juice may help decrease depression symptoms. The problem is for years people said 
it's all in your head. Well, they were right. It was in your head, but there was something wrong. The chemicals in the head were fouled up. There really was something wrong in the head. And they'd say, well, you can pull yourself out of depression. Just, just say you're not going to be depressed. It's a joke. You can say all day you're not going to be depressed, and all night, and you'll still be depressed because the chemicals are fouled up. Now, there are lots of medicines today that are good for helping depressions. Most of them have side effects. Noni can help depression, and noni can help depression even if you're taking an de antidepressant. If you're taking an antidepressant, and you add noni to your regimen, and you work with your mental health counselor or doctor, chances are good that you can decrease the dose that you're taking. You can't go off of it. The worst thing you could do, because you go off of it and you get worse. But the doctor can see that you're getting better. He can see that there are less side effects, because as you take less medicine, you get less side effects from the medicine, and Noni can help you decrease that dose, and Noni can help you. Of 1,500 people, 80% said that they felt less depressed. Noni use may help decrease pain. Noni can decrease pain. And in Noni, there are turpins, and they're the oils that are in Noni. And they can be involved in the synthesis and regeneration of cells. Now, synergistically, that means they work together, hand in hand. Noni can work with serotonin, proteins, amino acids, enzymes, vitamins, minerals. And it does this by having this indirect influence on them to see that they help work to better. And it helps them go into homeostasis. And it helps them with this adaptive phenomenon that I told you about. When it comes to pain, one of the highest figures I found to help people was Noni help pain in 87% of the cases. And there were 6,900 people who said, of that, the high 80 said it helped them with pain. Noni may help with weight loss. Now, Noni may help with weight loss, not on its own, but as part of a comprehensive weight loss management program. You want diet, you want exercise, you want behavioral modification, and you want nutritional supplementation, Noni. So it fits in to that criteria. Now, it is true that women over 40 have special problems with their weight. Part of it's due to hormones. Part of it's due to the amount of fat in their body. Part of it's due to a mixture of things. But of, 50, of 5,500 people who took Noni, 70% said that it helped them. Another reason to take Noni is Noni can help with tension, deficit, hyperactivity disorder, mainly in kids, but also in adults. About 10% now of the population has this syndrome. It's hard to concentrate. You get fidgety. Uh, you're irritable. But it's for real. It's for real. It used to be thought as a neurological disease. I'm not so sure it's a disease. I'm not so sure it's a disease at all. But it's still a for real phenomenon. I don't believe you handle this with medication. This is the one thing. Uh, well, let's put it this way. I don't think the majority of time you handle it with medication. I think medication is the last thing you want to do to handle this. Because the medications that handle it have their own symptoms, their own side effects, their own problems. Noni, I believe, can help kids and adults with this hyperactivity problem. And of 5,500 people, 73% said in some way they were helped. Noni juice may help decrease migraine headaches. Again, what in it could do it? The interaction between serotonin, 
nitric oxide, and probably their increased receptors where they can land to help. Noni can help with addiction. All these different addictions, some people have been helped by Noni. How does it do it? I think it helps with the receptors. I think it pushes off some of the nicotine that's on the receptors, cocaine that's on the receptors, different things. So that's another reason to take Noni. It can help with cigarette smokers. Those of you who smoke cigarettes, it can help you get all kicked the habit. 40, actually 400,000 deaths every year came, come from cigarettes. It's been calculated that for every cigarette you smoke, you lose 14 minutes of life. And that's a hard, that's a hard figure that's on average, but it's still hard. So that's a tough one. It looks like the nicotine receptors hold on to nicotine, and that's what gives you the craving. I'll tell you one thing that I had come up with. 876 people who we surveyed, of those people, 56% said they were helped to get rid of the habit. The majority of them at the time, and this was early in the game, said to me, not only did they drink noni, but they took it and they put it in their mouth and they swished it around for three minutes. And I do believe that helps. And then they swallowed it. So you get a double bang for your buck. I think Noni can help decrease the symptoms of stroke. Remember we talked about clots before? We talked about clot to the heart? You get a clot to the brain, you got a stroke. You get an embolism, and the same thing could be true for the heart as for, for stroke. All that stroke means is your brain's affected, in the heart, of course, your heart's affected. You can get an embolism. That means you form a clot somewhere else in your body. It could be anywhere. It breaks off, and wherever it goes, it clogs it up, plugs it off, and then you get all those bad things. So if it goes to your brain, you got a stroke. It goes to your heart, you get a myocardial infarction, a heart attack. It goes to your kidney, you get kidney infarction. It goes to your lungs, you get pulmonary infarction. So wherever it goes, you got a problem. I believe that Noni can help that and certainly can help the symptoms of that. Of 1,800 people, 53% said they felt better after they took Noni. Noni may help decrease your cholesterol. And the reason Noni may help decrease your cholesterol is Noni is an antioxidant. It's one of the most powerful antioxidants known today. I believe that because good cholesterol goes to bad cholesterol through oxidation and noni through the antioxidants can prevent a lot of that oxidation it can prevent you having high low density lipoproteins so it act, can act as a, a protector so remember that there's science behind the antioxidants noni may help increased memory. If you have problems with memory loss before 70 and it's really severe, and I'll tell you what's severe. If you can't remember where you put your car, where you put your car keys, that's not severe. That's not severe. But let me, let me tell you what's severe. If you forget you got a car, <laughs> that's severe. And when I was at Hopkins, I used to use that as one of the tests for Alzheimer's. And actually, it was pretty good to all this high highfalutin scientific stuff. If they could tell me, you know, pretty much, well, yeah, they, you know, they didn't know where they put their car keys or the mail or whatever, that didn't bother me. That was benign memory loss. But they told me they didn't remember that they had a car, <laughs> that's problems. The cutoff point is 70. Now after 70, that's when Alzheimer's really shoots up. Before 70, it's really rare that you're gonna have Alzheimer's. The percentage is very low in the population, just looking at it statistically. After 70, it starts to increase, and it increases every year thereafter. 
Of 5,500 people who are given Noni for memory loss, 73% said it helped with their memory. Noni juice may help with the nervous system. Noni, I believe, helps with secondarily stimulating nitric oxide. Remember we spoke about that? And in 1998, doctors Robert Foucault, Fred Murad, and Louis Agano came up and with the proof that nitric oxide is a molecule that can go around and talk to other molecules and so they can remember things. And I took that work and I then applied it to Noni. I said, could that be one of the things that Noni is doing and could Noni be helpful? And I believe that's possibly one of the things that Noni's doing. Um, Noni may help with detox. The four areas of your body that detox the greatest are the liver, the kidney, the lungs, and the skin. Noni has been shown to help increase detoxification by 50%. That's a, that's a large figure. Can Noni help with skin care? Of 877 people, 78% said, yeah, Noni helped. And it helped, really, by decreasing wrinkles, decreasing dryness, increasing elasticity, and increased smoothness and luster. And it helped that by the glycerol in it, the fatty acids, and the butyric acid in it. All the components that are in Noni. Good, solid stuff. In conclusion, drink Noni every day. Drink enough noni juice every day. Drink noni juice for a long enough period of time to see beneficial effects. And with that I say, amen.